What's up guys, Garrett here with self.dev. Today, we're gonna to talk about why you're not making progress learning HTML, CSS, JavaScript, or whatever language you're learning. Now, the way I see it, there's basically two steps to learning a language. Number one, you learn the syntax. Number two, you build projects. Pretty simple formula, right? Now, the problem most people run into, they'll sign up for Udemy or Team Treehouse or they'll watch YouTube videos or free code camp stuff and they'll just kick back, watch the video on HTML, say, okay, that makes sense. I understand it. Okay, I think I can do that. All right, I'm gonna watch some CSS now. Okay, that makes sense. I, I can do that too. Okay, yeah, cool. I'm gonna do some JavaScript now. Okay, now I'm gonna do some React. Now I'm gonna do some Vue and on and on, and they never start building projects. Now, obviously, if you build projects, this message isn't really for you. But pro, uh, the projects, that's where the deeper level of learning takes place. Watching the videos, you get the syntax, you get like the, the, bit, the top layer of learning. But when you actually sit down and build the projects and you're sitting there and you're like, I don't wanna build this, I, want to just, I just wanna go play video games or watch TV. But you slowly and painstakingly piece that project together. That's when your brain starts saying, oh, this is important. I need to remember this. And that's when you start making the neuron connections and everything starts coming together. So that's one of the reasons I, I like Team Treehouse, by the way. Uh, they basically like, all these are Team Treehouse projects, but they can basically be a mock-up like this picture here. They have videos beforehand where they teach you like the basics of HTML and CSS for this one specifically. And then they give you the mock-up and they say, all right, cool, build this project, make sure it has breakpoints that 12, 24 pixels and 768 pixels. And you get a text editor and build it on your own. You're not sitting there coding along with anybody else. That's when you have to start thinking way more critically and you probably have to Google a lot of stuff too. And that's kind of what it's like to be a real developer. Now, if you don't want to pay 200 bucks a month to do, to do Team Treehouse, totally understand. It's a little expensive. I thought of it as like an investment in myself, but we're gonna start doing monthly projects in the Discord if you wanna come be a part of that. Uh, let's see. So today is August 23rd, 2019 on September 1st, 2019. That's when I'm gonna post the first project. It's probably gonna be something simple, just HTML, CSS. There's gonna be a constraint on it to where you can only use vanilla JavaScript. So no jQuery, no libraries, just vanilla JavaScript. I am going to use Adobe XD and make a mock-up for you. Adobe XD is free, so you don't, have to, you don't have to pay anything. You can just download it, and you can get the same file that I built. And I'll, like I said, I'll have some constraints on it. I'll make a video saying, all right, this is the project. This is what it should look like when you're done, and I'll let you loose. And then at the end of the month, you'll have your project done, hopefully. And I'll probably do a live stream on the last day of the month where I build the project, and you can compare how you did it versus how I did it. It's one of the things I love about code. There's no... There's not really a, a right way to do something. There's all these multiple ways you can build one project. And there's not really a right way. There are wrong ways, but there's not really like one right way. So yeah, if that interests you, um, check in the description. There's a link to the Discord. Come up in there. We've got some dudes that are doing tech interviews. So you can ask them questions on how their interviews are going, get some feedback from other developers, show any other projects you're working on. I also do resume and portfolio reviews. So if you're interested in that, my email is in the description. You can send me your resume or portfolio. If you don't want me to like show your information, make sure you black that out. And if this helps you out, give me a thumbs up and make sure you subscribe so you don't miss out on any other videos. See you next time. Peace.